Hi friends, I'm Nicholas Acciani. Let's go backstage. <laughs> Today, we're gonna to talk about scale. When we're working in theater or in the entertainment industry in general, we have to do a lot of things in scale. So what does that mean, scale? When you have to do scaled models or scale drawings of a set or lights or a costume. According to the Webster Dictionary, the definition of scale is the proportion between two sets of dimensions. That means when you have an object, like say this video frame, the height of it versus the width of it, when you make it smaller or bigger, the ratio between the two stays the same. So right now, if we take a look at this, because we are a video, this is 16 by nine, meaning that the width of the video is 16 and the height is nine. That is the ratio. So if you're watching this in HD, that means it's 1920 by 1080. 1920 pixels across by 1080 up and down. So if we were to make that say half the size, half of 1920 is 960. So we would take that width and make it 960. Now, if I just do the width and the height stays the same, I get really skinny. And that's, while I would love to be really skinny, not the most attractive picture to look at. And it's not the same ratio. My face is all warped. So now we have to take the height and we have to shrink that to half the size, which half of 1080 is 540. So now instead of 1920 by 1080, we're at 960 by 540. The ratio of 1920 to 1080 is 16 to nine. The ratio of 960 to 540 is also 16 by nine. That means the ratio of the height to the width never changes, even though the actual dimensions, the size of those change. One of the main things we use scale for is in drafting, where we're trying to make an entire set that is in feet and yards and make that smaller in inches and half of inches and quarter of inches. The first thing that we need to do is know how to write the scale out. So say we're doing something in half inch scale. So that means every time that we draw half an inch, that represents a foot. So we would write that out as one half inch equals one foot zero inches. One thing you need to remember is that the symbol for inches is basically a quotation mark. The symbol for feet is an apostrophe. If you mix those up, that's going to cause problems when you give it to your builder who's going to build it thinking that your inches are feet and feet are inches because you wrote them that way. So the biggest thing to remember when you're talking about scale is that we're using it as a representation of what it is in real life. A point of reference for someone misunderstanding scale is in the movie Zoolander. When he sees the Zoolander schools for kids who want to read good. I'm paraphrasing that. I don't remember that exactly. But he looks at the model and he says, what is this? A school for ants? That is a perfect imitation of the, how he does that in the scene. He doesn't understand that that is a much smaller representation where everything is done to scale so you can see it. It's not abstract, but it is smaller so that it fits on the board. The same thing we do that in drafting. We make it smaller so that it it fits on the paper, but it needs to be in scale so we know exactly what it looks like when we build it. So hopefully that helps explain what scale is. See you next time. These videos are made for educational purposes. Hopefully you learn something or reinforce something you may already know. Now, this is just one way to do this and there may be other ways to do what I've explained in this video and I would love to hear about those ways in the comments. Just remember to be kind as you share your own experiences and expertise on the subject. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe and hit that little bell button to be notified of the next video.